I personally don't really care or think about that very much, but um, I know that a lot of agents and wish lists and people are more akin to that. And I figured that, you know, because he's an actual writer and I think he deserves eyes on his work, maybe if he could piggyback off of that, maybe something cool could happen. Um, so yeah, we were just coming up with an idea and I think it really, it really, we had something really cool. The, uh, the idea actually, it's a pretty interesting premise. I know I should probably be doing this as the vlog. I'll probably make something more entertaining or going, honestly, this is the first view. Eventually I'll nail down the whole YouTube thing, but right now I'm just kind of like just doing it is like the battle. And then, you know, I'll do it well once I can figure out how to do my life well. Right now my focus is just get disciplined enough where you're doing everything consistently long enough in a long enough streak. Then I can optimize after that, you know? Um, anyway, so the premise we're going to be working on is basically there's this girl, uh, super depressed, super messed up, and she does it because she remembered that she used to always have these dreams when she was a kid and they would make her like really like psychologically damaged and she stopped hated having these dreams and so what happens is she is like super messed up her life's kind of destroyed or whatever but then she meets somebody who is playing this music this song and for the first time, she feels like not depressed or anything like that. And she's so she's big on drugs, smokes a lot of weed and things like that. So she doesn't remember her dreams. So she's kind of forgotten that it was her dreams that were making her sad. But one day, you know, she's listening to this song. She feels so good. She for like goes a whole day without taking drugs um, because she just so feels, feels so good about this music. So then she goes to sleep and she wakes up. And then she has these nightmares. And then so she sees this person in her nightmares. And uh, she realizes the person in her nightmare was one of the people in like a coma in her video in the hospital or whatever. And then sort of like to get over her nightmares or whatever and stuff. I put the premise, we're still working on it, but the premise was that she you know starts taking and like listening to this music because it's the only thing that really helps her um and this guy does it because he does it to people who are also having nightmares and comas and stuff and he does it to wake people up or to like help them pass on or whatever and this is the music that helps her but then eventually so that she can do it for herself he says well you could always learn the music but first you got to learn the instrument so then she's got to start the journey of basically learning how to how to learn an instrument and she's got to learn about music theory and all this stuff and she's kind of like going into herself and then slowly like the idea is that as she pours herself into this to kind of to alleviate her stress she actually begins to build a mastery and just without knowing all these other problems and things start getting solved because she's finally moving momentum and then she suddenly is like getting a career and like her life is just moving as a result, and then she starts realizing that these nightmares were like the thing that kind of pointed her to the solution into her life. And that that's kind of where I see the project going, and I think it would be pretty cool and inspiring. Um, Got to talk to my partner about it and kind of get in a better idea of that. But that's sort of the premise for the book so far. It'll probably be refined over time. Um, but yeah, so was able to do that. Now I just need to clean out the fridge because that's my chore for the day and then kind of go through the schedule then I'm just going to stretch and relax for the rest of the night and then you know pop down read a book and then get ready to do it again uh, so yeah that's um that's life right now and then yeah uh all is well so I don't really have much more to say than that vlog so I'm just kind of doing this and yeah so good times. Peace.